So question number one, who are you? I am Mike. I'm the sales rep here in Illinois for Green Grow. All right. That leads right into our number two question is what do you do? I'm here to uh, help support the Illinois community and teach growers how to use the Green Grow product and achieve a uh, successful uh, product. And who in this space do you think is doing dope things right now? You know what? I actually want to thank the Illinois cannabis community because without them, we wouldn't be here. And I appreciate everybody that's using the Green Grow products. What kind of things in your space are dope to you right now? In my space right now, uh, being that we're getting into the flowering season, I would suggest uh, the dope product everybody use would be our flower finisher, really help with the terpenes along with density of your bud. Now, Mike, how can we support you? By purchasing Green Grow, you can check out the website, uh, www.greengrow.com. All of our products are listed on there. Uh, otherwise, you could check out one of our local fabulous stores that carry our Green Grow products. Thanks, Mike. I really appreciate your time. Thank you. You're listening to the Elevated News Podcast with two dope dudes. Here are your hosts, Dave and Aaron. Welcome to the Elevated News Podcast with Two Dope Dudes. We are your podcast focused on discussing local and national cannabis news and culture. We're the Two Dope Dudes. I'm Aaron. And I'm David. He is. He is. Uh, <laughs> what's going on, man? How you doing? Welcome back. I'm doing lovely, actually. Yeah, man. We, uh, we just, we had a week off from, uh, from uh, you know, recording and uh, you had a wedding to go to. And how was it? Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, we got to spend some time down in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Ooh. Beautiful piece of land. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, everything was unbelievably perfect. I got to throw some discs and I, uh, I got to smoke in the mountains. That's awesome. Yeah. And then, you know, it's just been high flying. Well, not high actually, but yeah, yeah, just flying great. Since yeah. We'll, we'll, well, we'll, we'll get, get to that. that. But yeah. yeah. Well, we hinted that in the last episode. Dave's currently on a uh, undefined tea break, which is just, uh, he'd been talking about it for a while. And so it's been since, well, today's Tuesday, been almost a week since you've smoked, correct? Uh, yeah. Or ingested yeah, THC. Thir Thursday night was the last time I Yeah, assumed. Thursday night on your live stream, right? Correct. Yeah, sweet. And I feel great. Yeah, and you I feel, feel great. I, I feel fine. I'm not going to say I feel great. We'll, we'll talk more about it once we get to it, but yeah. I, I feel completely fine. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, yeah. Congratulations. I've done it before, too. Uh, you know, and uh, I think it's probably important to do it once in a while. So. I think everybody should consider every once in a while um, doing the reset button. Yeah, resets are great. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So, awesome, man. Let's uh, let's get into plugs real quick. We got some some new, new plugs to do, but uh, same old plugs as well. Let's get them done and out of the way. Uh, so you can find the Elevated News Podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon, and all your other favorite streaming and podcast apps, and the Two Dope Dudes YouTube channel. Please give us a like and leave a uh, review. This helps us reach more people. Uh, you know, uh, there's also the Growers Hangout, which is uh, another podcast I'm doing with Marky Love. Check that out. We have two test episodes that are terrible. <laughs> and nobody should listen to them, but thank you for those who do, because the uh, audio and video are bad. But we've upgraded audio and video sources, and, uh, you know, uh, episode three is going to be awesome. So check it oh, out. Yeah. Heck yeah. Well, I mean, you know, I, that's why they're test episodes. I definitely, I, I started watching a few of them. Video and audio are off. It's not bad. Yeah. Obviously, I love listening to you guys talk and stuff, but the video and audio are off a little bit. Not Ye off. Oh uh, no, like, no, yeah, yeah. Well, it's because we uh we did that with a Sony Handycam, and it was okay. not great. Yeah. And you know now we have a new backdrop and new set and more lighting and stuff like that. So it's super Fire. cool. Yeah, it's way better. But uh, yeah. So it, that's been fun. Uh, Marky Love, love that dude. He's a uh, super fire, and uh, we're getting to talk to a lot of cool guests. So yeah, um, yeah. I was watching the one with Chris yeah. the other day a little bit. Yeah, I I told Chris that uh, I said Chris, we're gonna get you back on because I want to make sure to do you justice. You yeah. know what I mean? Because he's yeah. been so cool. 
Um, speaking of Chris, uh, you know, uh, crapculture.com, get your October box uh, and, uh, you know, get your December box too coming up. But uh, if you are going to order on crapculture.net, you should, in the order description, use Growers Hangout for a little extra love from our buddy over there. He's awesome. Uh, you can also find us on supportdopeople.com, along with links to our other pods and free stickers just by providing your email and address. We're also going to start sending out some newsletters. So, uh, you know, sign up, please. Uh, it's very easy. It is uh, the very least uh, you could do for us. Uh, and then uh, two dope dudes podcast at gmail.com for any questions or things you'd like us to talk about. Uh, e drugs. Yeah, e drugs for sure. And then lastly, uh, since this will be going out this week, next week, uh, Marky and I are both entering our home grow in the Urban Legends Cup. And they gave us a coupon code, use code uh, HANGOUT5 for $5 off the Urban Legends Cup. That's a uh, home growing. Uh, bring your bring your weed and have it uh judged so we're going out to that that's so cool it's gonna be so cool it's out in chicago we're branching out a little bit uh marky is uh uh you know uh the man <laughs> obviously and uh he's going you know he's bringing his new harvest uh love green culture to this and he's i think he's gonna win uh, and I'm also representing Love Green Culture and uh, SupportDopePeople.com. That is so. so shout fire. out to Marky for, you know, uh, being the man. Yeah, th I'm. Yeah, that's super I'm cool. Just actually reading through this is yeah. the first time that I've. I was going to invite you, but I know how your schedule is. Yeah, it's. Uh, um, yeah, that's next Sunday or something. Right? It is next Sunday. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, going to be a rough one. For mm -hmm. me. Might be. I won't be at Tags for probably two weeks. Because I got this and I got, um, uh, oh yeah, and the Little Bean Chicago Canico DeKalb yep. Outdoor Farmer's Market is coming up and I cannot wait. I've got quite a few people to talk to and it's going to be super fun. That's pretty awesome. Yep. Actually. I'm, I'm super in. You've been doing some cool shit. Bro. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah. No, I appreciate Shout out to it. the people who keep encouraging me, you know, I, uh, bro, yourself I, included, obviously. I, I promise you, words of affirmation. Yep. What a great thing. Yeah, man. It really does help people get through. It really does. Yeah. Um, but no, cool. I hey, listen. Uh, and you just heard him say, I don't go to a lot of these things. This is something I would dig being a part of, right? This is October twenty second. Um, it's yep. in Blue Island. Yep. At the uh Blue Island Brewery. Oh, sweet. But they hold a lot of uh cannabis events there. I think they've got like an outdoor patio. I know um it says there's like DJs. Yeah, and, High uh, with Ashley is going to be there from uh, our friends over at Illinois News Joint. He does a lot of the product reviews. He's you should also check him out on Instagram. He's one of the judges. Uh, Ganjir Danny is one of the guys running it, and then uh, I I don't want to get this wrong. Uh, it's HFM Media, I believe, which is a uh, uh, three women in the industry who have started like a. Uh, like a marketing slash event thing. And uh, nice. yeah, so I want to support that. So fire. Yeah. So cool. Yeah. We're kind of doing the same things just in different areas. So it's uh, good to like network and branch out and, and meet these people. So, so cool. Support dope people. I, I, I love this shit. Yeah. It's really cool. Um, that's all my plugs. Uh, hey, that was only like eight minutes of plugs or that, something. That's perfect. Nah, uh, yeah. Give me about twenty seconds to say if y'all don't <laughs> mind, check me out at Peace Love and Cope on YouTube. Yes, uh, that's about it. Supportopeople.com. Ooh, Peace Love and Cope. You, you can find all his links there. Bingo. And uh, get ready for some things to change here in the near future. We've got. I've got some pretty cool shit in store. I think, or I'm hoping that it's cool. Maybe it's more cool to me, but we'll see. It's gonna happen. It's happened. We're having fun. Cool. So, yeah, that's all our plugs. Uh, let's go to Dope Person of the Week. I got to uh, do one this week because I didn't have to run a flex. That's next week. So, yeah, uh, Dope Person of the Week, Amy Leskowski from Birdie Babes. What an awesome human, actually. Yeah, she's awesome. Um, she's super cool. All the heart in the world, and I love anybody who's willing to step back from something they're passionate about to run something that they're passionate yeah. about as well. If you don't have to participate, but you'd rather 
be the uh, the backbone to something. Yeah. Mad respect to Amy for doing what she does. I could probably I could probably uh, take a lesson from that, huh? You know what, brother? I I think there's lessons to be learned 100 percent there for both of us. But um, she is she's a great human. I love the group that she's put together, and um, you know I'm I'm happy that uh, I've been accepted to yeah yeah hang no hang out and do the thing with them. Yeah, super, super cool. People. Brit had a lot of fun uh, at that tournament. I know uh, Kelsey also had a lot of fun at that tournament. That's right. Yeah, That's so, right. so it was good times. Ratings came out today. People, oh, yeah. Yeah, Britt Brit went up. She went up a whole, uh, like, 16 points or something. I was nice. like, let's, let's go. go Brit. Let's yeah. go. Kels went up one. Nice. Yeah. I went up eight. Oh! <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't have one. I know you don't. don't it's okay. Me. Next year. I'm, I'm not the cool kids. Actually, right now is the time to, hey, get your PDJ memberships right now. It's October. Oh, you yeah. get the extra two months. Yeah. Extra two months, $50. Yeah. PDJ.com. I should probably do it at some point. Yeah. 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 So, uh, Amy's awesome and shout out to her for being the dope person of the week. I'm glad I could, uh, interview her. She was a little hesitant, but, uh, she, you know, she, uh, she was awesome on the unstable discourse, uh, podcast as well. And I was like, come on, I know you can do this. And then 100%. she was like, yeah, I can. And she did. 100%. She was great. Yeah. I, um, mad love. Thank you. Keep doing what you're doing, Amy. Yeah. Shout out. You're a badass. Yep. Um, comments. Yeah, we got comments on. Uh, we're two weeks behind, so we're gonna do two weeks of comments. That's right. Two weeks of comments. Um, one here that says, uh, "Do you know the rules and regs regarding consumption lounges? Is the lounge treated as a private club slash residence to make it legalish?" Um, correct. That is pretty much yeah. how it is. It is per municipality. They have the ability to allow or not allow. And I think it's in the same ruling as like um, the indoor smoking. Yeah, the indoor yep. sm smoking act. It it almost always falls back to that. Yeah. Uh, unless it's a cigar lounge. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. So no, yeah, I I um I am not a big. Uh, I don't know as much about the rules and regs yeah. behind it. I do know that the simple basics of it, but um, I know the laws in Illinois are not great for it. it they're not very uh enticing it's they're not uh enabling people to open consumption lounges. and i do believe i'm not a hundred percent sure but i do believe you i don't know is a weirdness to it like it, it obviously has to be a private property and it has to have it has to be so far away from school yes and, and there's things. another one uh saying i think uh bob and i were talking uh, the other day i was hanging out with bob and he was showing me the newer proposed laws for consumption lounges and uh, it has to be like a standalone building away from everything else. That's you know what I mean? What I yeah. It to be. Yep. 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 So. Um, but yeah, we're going to delve more. I know I said we were going to delve into that, but, uh, you know, it's been a couple of weeks and we got some other things. But we are, we have talked about consumption laws in the past, but we should, uh, you know, we should do some more. When the, so, there, well, yes, we're going. To. Yeah, for but, sure. There's a second part to this question that says, also, would you rather fight one horse-sized Robert F. Kennedy or mm -hmm. 100 duck-sized RFKs? Yep, yep. That's, uh, you know, a uh, typical, uh, typical uh, Reddit slash 4chan troll. May uh, I? appreciate you. No, I'm going to add. I oh, mean, yeah. No, I, 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 wanna, I want to expand on this because there's a part of me that's, like, triggered. Now, is the, is the horse-sized, is it a horse creature? Are we dealing with... Or is it just a large... No, it's a horse-sized RFK. Like a multi-hundred-pounded, like, yeah, monster. Yeah, it's, it's, it's RFK as a horse. Okay. Like the size of a horse. Wow, that's big. Yeah. Does the... Or, or 100 small duck-sized RFKs. Does the duck-sized one have wings? N no, he's just duck-sized. It, it's it, just It's just the size a of a duck. Oh, I... I'd yeah, boot, boot RFKs all of them. All yeah. Day. yeah, there'd yeah. be no fucking chance. Yeah. I'd be jumping up and down, stomping little RFKs. Yeah. Broken spinal 100, columns. A hundred duck size RFKs. Shit. That's all. Oh. Yeah, he's already super fit, but if yeah. he was like super fit and then was like as big as a horse. Ooh. One like, or two of them are going to get a hold of your shoes or one. something. Yeah, dude. Yeah. You're, you're but done. I, they, better, they better get a better plan. Mm -hmm. I got a good boot. 
I got a big boot. Got a big old boot. <laughs> um, sweet. Thank nice. you for that question. Yeah. As, always appreciate any of the comments and feedback Heck and yeah. um, questions. And even if it's silly stuff like that, it does give us the opportunity to chat about things. So yeah. please comment. and Also great for the algorithm. Just, you know, comment. You liked it. Thank you. Appreciate you. That's it. You know. That's it. Just like this next one. Thanks for the stickers. How awesome. Yeah. Have you gone to support com and signed up to get you some stickers yet? You should. Yeah. I sent out, uh, I don't know, 20 or 30 envelopes last week. Why? Uh, including three in Canada. That was super fire. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah. You should get on Instagram. There's a bunch of people tagging, you know, these Peace, Love, and Cope stickers that people have gotten. Damn. Yeah. They're putting them up in their grow tents and stuff, dude. It's really cool. Let's go. Okay. Shout out to those people. Hey, yeah. let's go, Canada. Yeah. She. Yeah. Canada's yeah. Canada, Canada. I mean, all around the uh, all around the country, people, you know, put them up, requesting free slaps. It's super cool. You guys are way too awesome. Thanks for the support. It makes me feel all mushy and yeah, stuff. dude. Yeah, yeah. Along with uh, our friends from uh, Grow Better Chicago, Crap Culture, Green Grow. Uh, who else? Uh, Chicago Canico. Um, somebody else gave me stickers not long ago. I don't remember. I got to get some Mister CBD ones. You know, just all sorts of our friends that are doing dope things. We're just supporting dope people, sending it out. That's so you cool. You know what I mean? That's 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 what the thing's all about. Uh, Regardless of what anybody thinks or what anybody, what I, you know, decide or, you know, think it should be. That's that's really what it's about. And that's what it, it needs to stay about. Have your, uh, have your purpose. Bud, yeah, dude. And that's. Support you know, dope people. Stick to it. Yep. Um, speaking of sticking to um, your purpose, yeah, this first news article we have today sticks pretty close to my purpose. Yeah, um, and the this comes from Marijuana Moment, as you all may know, we love the source. Um, marijuana, the entourage effect with multiple cannabinoids, produces a stronger and longer-lasting high. Than pure THC study finds. So, uh, in layman's terms, uh, something that you are ingesting that is full spectrum is better than just straight THC. Infinitely, unless you are using something directly for THC. Right. And that is what I keep telling. This is why I argue the percentage thing as hard as I do. Because THC percentage doesn't fucking matter. THC might be one of the more, when we speak medically, yes, it might be one of the more boring yeah. of the cannabinoids. It has a ton of, it has a ton of medical benefit, but when we look at the other things that go on in there, CBD, CBG, CBN, THCV, when we talk about medicinally right. being viable to the system, oh, they're, they're, I don't know how to compare one towards the other because they all have their use, but THC is fucking boring. Yeah, it really is. So it's it's one of the more basics. And as far as intoxication goes, it's THC is I don't want to say it's just bore it's boring. Yeah. Have, have you ever just done a straight dab of raw THC crystals before? It's THCA, but just just take nothing, no terpenoids, no nothing. Take straight crystal and drop it into a, a nail. And and smoke it and tell me that you feel um like you're getting your money's worth. Yeah. Right? It's you're not. It's quick. It's 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 short lived. It's very it doesn't have flavor to it. It doesn't have any of that um cannabisy goodness that we're right. I, I mean, you know, uh terps over terpenoids. Yeah, yeah terps I mean, over everything. I, I say cannabis, it's terp. Terps. Yeah. Terps over everything. That's what we say uh, in Love of Green Culture. Yeah, I mean. You know, taste over everything. That's what we're, that's what we're about. Your body, so, like, your body knows what it wants and desires, and if you can just smell something, which the smell comes from terpenoids, yeah. then you're, there's a better chance you're like, oh, this is the thing that my body needs or whatever. So, it, um, yeah, that's, that's my take at it. I'd rather see... Um, terpenoids start to come to light i'd rather see excess cannabinoids start to come to light i mean it, i was talking to uh hi with ashley the other day okay uh about this because he had something on his instagram you should give him a follow right. uh 
and he was saying that uh, he believes that people should be consumers should be uh, checking the the harvest date and and not actually worry about the terps or uh, the uh, the uh, THC content. And I said, you know, I disagree. I think terps are important. And he said, well, you know, do you think? I mean, how how long can you expect them to last? And I'm like, well, a year. But like, you know, it's it, it's a whole bunch of things. But uh, I think his point was is that uh, you know people we need better uh, better options in Illinois in order to be able to choose our turps and choose our THC and, oh, and be able. You know what I'm saying? I respect what he's saying about checking the manufacturing date. Yeah, because a lot of times these plants are packaged six months yeah after exactly. they're manufactured and then if you look at the package date and that's six months away from when you've bought it it can become a like you said that year goes by really fast if things aren't happening there right and if shit's sitting on a shelf or whatever um better cannabis and things that um dispensary workers tend to um promote yeah you know they 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 cycle through a little bit better um but there's plenty of stuff that i used to sit there and go holy shit like this thing was picked in right. october right we packaged it in june right and now we're it's trying December. to sell it in september right, right now i'm like we got one month before this is a year old already. yeah i mean i've seen that too sitting around in a warehouse yeah. the whole fucking time you know and the thing was because once we bought it in june or july or whatever yeah we let it sit in the back stock behind right. the other stuff, stuff that was already there. Sitting. And then oh, I remember, just yeah, so yeah. cycled behind sometimes that, yeah, I'm with you on the, the check the date, but don't get super militant about it and be like, tell me the date. Right no, now. yeah, uh, that's yeah, ridiculous. I think too. you're going to be all right. I, I, I think uh, his point was, uh, he said, uh, eventually we'll be able to dial in some individualized products, but I also believe flour has compounds that steer the aroma and experience that we don't even test for yet. We were talking about testing and, and, you know, why wouldn't we just use terpene aromatherapy inhalers that could be dialed in by a specific need instead of combusting and inhale? You know, there was a whole bunch of conversations and it was, uh, they had some really good points. I, I respect that. Yeah. Um, also, the reason we don't is because of Regulations. how expensive it is to yeah, fucking have too. them. I mean, actual yeah. direct cannabis derived terpenoids. To get what we are desiring from cannabis is expensive. It's a long process, and it is there's not a lot that comes from it. But that's the whole point. Like um, for me, I want cannabis direct terpenoids, right? But if linalool comes from both cannabis and lavender plants, or or lilacs, or whatever the hell it comes from, it's the same fucking thing at the end right? right like once it's down the line of lul it is the same fucking thing. yeah so like chemically right right it's it just different different uh sources correct yeah yeah so at the end of the day i mean i would love to see i i respect what they were saying yeah there. I, that's super cool um but yeah i i mean as far as this goes I think what the main point to any of the entourage effect that I myself have seen is that most people don't know their system well enough and don't know what they need well enough to directly seek out the thing that they need, nor do they have access or, or the information to seek out the thing that they directly might need. So if somebody is looking for CBN Direct, you can go in and say, hey, give me some CBN because I have sleep issues, and they're going to bring you a package that has 5 milligrams of CBN per piece mm -hmm. and then 10 milligrams of THC and 10 milligrams of CBD. And right. you be like, what? I'm getting a more generalized thing going on here. So CB CBN is great at sleeping, but so is THC, yeah. right? And then if we take a CBD and put it in there when that's good at reducing anxiety and even inflammation and things of that nature, uh, you know, it's that much more beneficial on top of just the sleep direct CBN that right. we're seeking. So entourage effect, um, whatever you want to call it. And, and, you know, my whole life I've just been like, yeah, this is, that's what cannabis is capable of that, you know, right. Um, I, but, it's done amazing stuff for people in my family. It's done amazing things for people in your family. Oh, I'm, I'm, medically, yeah. 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 
And then, you know, the countless of literal thousands of patients that I've been able to speak with in my life. But um, that's what I want to do in my life is get people to understand the individual smaller things broken down into different pieces. Right. And you can go, oh, okay, this might work for me. This might work for me. This might work for me. How do I put all three of those together? And that's like what I talk about all the time. Like, when does this become Burger King where you have it your way? Right. And I get to walk into a place and go, give me 50% THC, give me 25% CBN and fill the rest of it off with, you know, myrcene and whatever. And you wouldn't want to have 25% terps in your shit. No, It'd be spicy be as fuck, gross. but, um, you know. Cold CBN start that thing. Yeah. 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 Sure. <laughs> yeah <but> Please. <laughs> cold start. Do not do a spicy dab with 25% terps. <laughs> Yeah, that would be yeah. terrible. That'd be terrible. That'd be fucking bad. Yeah. Um, but no, yeah, I, it, and it could be whatever you want it to be, um, based off of your individual need, because cannabis as a medicine is per the individual, and as a full plant, it has tons to offer, but mm-hmm. it doesn't have. It doesn't know you yet. You got to right. help know it, and then you guys can learn each other together. Well, that's why we've talked on the podcast before about you. Uh, if you're going to use it for medicine, you have to do the journaling and the work, and, and you really need to use it to figure out, you know, know your methods of ingestion, know what your efficacy level is, right. know what you're actually needing, and then start to write down. And then you have to, you know, take it every day if you're trying to regulate your endocannabinoid system better. Right. You know what I mean? Take right. it every day, track how you feel, et cetera. That's, that's, that's what you have to do. But yeah. that's work for most people, and they don't want to do the work. And, it's, you know. That's where we're at in the world. And I'm not trying to be rude to anybody who does this, but if we're going in and saying, hey, give me the medicine so that I right. can just go home and continue living my exact same lifestyle and I don't have to change anything, then we're probably not putting in the maximum amount of effort um, towards ourselves. And that's the right. only thing, you know, I used to try very hard to put the ball into some people's court and go, Hey, you can take control of this. I'm very good at it. You can come back and talk to me all the time, but I'm not going to do this forever. I'm not going right. to sit in the dispensary forever. So eventually you have to figure it out. And once you do, like it's empowering to know knowledge is empowering. Yes. And that's all I'm trying to pass along is the knowledge of it. I could tell you directly what to do 99.9 percent of the time i'm not a medical doctor i don't whatever but as far as the science behind cannabis goes i could probably yeah talk to you for about 10 minutes and go this is probably what you should do and then you know whether or not you do or whether or not you find direct success in that um will come from again the amount of work you're willing to put in like journaling yeah you know so um but yeah you know, speaking of that, uh, that leads us right into a really interesting topic that I've been uh, itching, itching to, to talk about since you started talking about it. And you are, uh, you're on a break right now. You have not consumed cannabis since last Thursday. So it's, uh, today is Tuesday. So it's almost uh, seven days. Yeah. We're, yeah. Yep. So, so how are you feeling? Fine. Um, do you say that fine like when my wife says fine or <laughs> yeah, uh, like, partially okay um there that's my thing right cannabis has always yeah. been my thing and i lean into it while i'm having more anxious moments yes but i've been able to recently um in, in the last few days once the anxiety comes about once i feel whatever it is um, I've been able to go, okay, how do I handle this? Because I know I don't have a crutch to run to. And it's been really good for my, I think my mental state to force myself without actual force to like confront sit that. In, sit, yeah. Yeah. Sit in it. Yeah. You're, you're just get in the pocket. Why do I feel this weird? Why? Like, right. is there a way to overcome it personally? And that journey of it has been awesome. I'm a big, big fan of it. Um, the, the reason I say fine so weirdly is because I have had a few more dreams. Mm -hmm. I've used cannabis to not, to sleep, right. To not dream and to sleep better for years, my whole life. Yeah. It's been, it's been one of the biggest benefits of cannabis. Mm -hmm. Um, and immediately one of the first nights I had like, uh, 
snakes and alligators. Cra- cra- and crazy such. anxious dreams. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And like, <clears throat> so that was weird. Um, but I felt like once it came about, once I saw the snakes and the alligators and the whatever, I just popped myself awake for a moment, shook it off, and kind of went back. And, you know, um, that has been maybe the most adversely weird Is the sleeping? Yeah, I'm not, yeah. Most people, I think, uh, you know, it is sober October as well for a lot of people. Boom. You know what I'm saying? And uh, a lot of people, uh, you know, uh, quit doing drugs or ingesting uh, alternative things, you know, uh, altering their mental state, however you want to say it, uh, in October. And uh, one of the things I've heard, especially from uh, Joe Rogan, who smokes and does quite a bit of cannabis, was, you know, the first time he's like, oh, man, the dreams. The dreams for a couple of weeks was ridiculous yeah that has been that has been the the biggest weird um i do i've had a few moments of anxiety or or yeah. tension or whatever where i've been like holy shit this you, is you had a low one when i said hey we're about to start talking about it and you were like oh here we go <laughs> yeah. like all right dude It'll um, be okay but it's, <laughs> I, yeah i've been able to be around friends yeah who consume regularly that are still consuming right next to me and i'm able to kind of go no i'm okay yeah without that harsh like i really want to be part of this right i've used cannabis as a social thing for a long time in my life too i've got a lot of friends that will sit around and just burn one just to kind of oh yeah we i can't tell you how many times we've you and i have sat on the sat on the porch and just chooched a pipe facts it's it's awesome yeah one of my favorite things um so yeah that's been a little different too i literally yesterday leaving the disc golf course i said this is I was with Kels. I said, this is literally the time that I would be asking all of these people if they wanted to come back to my house and smoke. Yeah. I'm because I I think so. That's the other it's routine, right? Yeah. I've made this such a routine part of my life that like those moments are the tougher ones to get through where I'm like, fuck, this is, I mean, I know they would like to hear me say, Hey, come back and smoke too, or do something. Right. But then, I'm trying to fight against this thing. Yeah. So it's this back and forth kind of, but, um, because I literally am trying to do this also for a medical purpose and not because of, you know, just to be sober or whatever. I have that little weird cough. You hear me clear my throat all the time. Not when I edit it well. What's that? Not when I edit it well. (laughs) Yeah. 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 No, I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, but that's, that is yeah you got a big old journal right in front of you i'm I'm, we're sitting here at the desk he's got a journal obviously he's uh he's doing the work he's he's trying it out like let's you can do it too i you know if it's quit smoking cigarettes you know who you are i don't have here's like i've always used cannabis as a mental thing yeah more than a physical thing i don't have any physical ailments to go oh i use it directly for um but I don't think it's a bad thing to use as a mental thing. Right. I just wanted to see how strong I was without it. If I had the cognitive ability to overcome and get through some of the situations that I would rather lean into cannabis with. Right. right. And to go through it and to be doing it now, I, I think it's something maybe everybody, especially who does this directly for anxiety or depression, mm-hmm. if you're using it as a mental thing yep um i consider consider taking breaks every once in a while and i'm doing a week minimum yep i might even push it longer just to see how things go um but oh yeah, man I, can i be can can if possible yeah can when you start again can 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 we smoke together like oh, the very first time yeah, of course yeah i want to see how high dave gets the last time I remember, <laughs> the last time I quit, I was I was down at my dad's for like a week or something, or I was only supposed to be there for a yeah. week, and then I ended up staying for like two weeks. So I brought right. enough weed to get me through maybe seven days or yeah. whatever. So then by day seven or eight, I'm like, fuck, what am I going to do? Hitting, hitting resin. I'm like, you know what? I'm with my pops. Like, I don't yeah. really need anything else. I'm away from the social aspect of it. Right. It was way easier to just kind of... Go out, go out before bed and smoke real quick. Go to bed. Yeah, yeah, Bingo. yeah. So I, I, I didn't consume. I think it was for five to seven days. It's the last time I've taken a tea break or mm-hmm. anything. And this is right before cannabis 
became legal in Illinois, so 2014, 2015, okay. something. Um, but I had five, six days, seven days of complete sobriety, came back, and when I was getting back into town, so was another friend who was getting back in town from Colorado. Mm-hmm. And they had brought back tons the the smorgasbord, the smorgasbord dude, yeah we had every, i i was like damn you were willing to carry that on a plane it's like they saw it and didn't even give a fuck no they don't they don't care so he um yeah and he's like you gotta smoke you gotta smoke this shit and i was like no nah, dude i'm gonna take a break smoke it i'm like all right fuck it so i ended up smoking and then i remember being like awkward intoxicated mm-hmm. and i was like oh you know, like, yeah, maybe I won't do this anymore. Dude, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Weird, that's dude. what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, um, you're like, why do I even do this? Yeah, yeah, literally. So, for me, I will probably, if I do come back to it, I would go in the slow way yeah. of doing it. I would probably use it, you know, one or two hits, and then I, I see, I'm like, one hit, wait 10 minutes, one yeah. hit, wait 10 minutes. A little bit goes a long way. Yeah, you know, I uh, I would like to find that point where, you know how everybody says all the time, like, I want to get back to where, like, I want giggle weed, and I want, uh, you know, you know whatever. It's, it, yeah, I want to be All those people who laughing. smoke dabs. Yeah, yeah. Well, say. Smash your tolerance. Oh, yeah. No, I don't even get high anymore. I don't even feel this. Yeah, anymore. I have to go pick up a half half pound of wax or yeah whatever. so i can smoke for the next two nights yeah yeah <laughs> love you buddy I, I love you all um no you're you're good and, and do what you do i just think that um taking the break for yourself is yeah. a worthwhile adventure. and uh you know uh if you're on reddit and you're looking to uh quit marijuana either temporarily or permanently you can always go to our leaves L E A V E S reddit.com forward slash R forward slash leaves really? as in like, yeah, because the, uh, the cannabis subreddit on Reddit is called trees are trees. And so, uh, the, uh, right. the quitting subreddit is our leaves. Right. Yeah. I dig that. Also the, uh, the marijuana subreddit, it's all about like actual trees. It's hilarious. Really? Yeah. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. No, awesome. I, um, I appreciate you bringing it up. I, I no, we we definitely said we wanted to talk about it, and I know I said I was going to give you like uh, some sort of survey, but I uh, life got busy and I couldn't get it together. No, and but you know, I'm completely okay. I again, more than nothing, I um, I'm doing it for a medical purpose, and yeah. so far, I think it's been better. I I, I, I agree. Like as of today, like. Mm-hmm. yeah Once, and even, maybe even then like w- yeah and when i talk about it most yeah. of the time i start I, I think it's like an anxious tick or something yeah. too about it so i'll start fucking up but um even then i haven't been feeling it as much so for now i'm we're gonna continue on and see you know what what it does i'm i'm at least until thursday yeah. there's a better chance that i'm going a full another week minimum cool you know? yeah I, th- I think uh We'll see how it goes. But, That'll be interesting if you come down to the farmer's market on Sunday. Um, you know, yeah. There's other stuff there that's not, you know. Yeah, and I, like, I've been, I, I've been happy to drink more pink drinks lately, to be quite honest with you. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to get a little stimulant in me. I'm going to get a little yeah. pink drink, a little yeah. caffeination. Um, but no. A little I, replacement therapy? You know, I don't replace one thing with another necessarily. I can't wait for January. I need to, uh, I need to lose weight because I quit smoking for two months and just started on the pink drinks. Yeah. New, new year, uh, weight loss on the, uh, on the peace, love and cope, uh, Can, YouTube channel. This is completely <laughs> off topic. I know how you are. Well, yeah. 100%. <laughs> this is completely off topic of cannabis, but I have been losing weight lately. I've been feeling oh, good about you. it. And I. The one thing I don't, because I stopped paying drinks, okay, that's, yeah. that's a big benefit, whatever. I've been eating pretty much the fucking same, dude. I mean, I'm, I might not be going to Chili's three times a week like right. I used to, but I'm, I eat pretty big. Yeah. I'm a bigger guy, whatever. But um, I have been at the end of the shower going from like hot to like 
cold. Unbelievably yeah. fucking like shock your system. Yeah. Cold, cold shock proteins are great. Boom. You should definitely do ice baths. Boom. Yeah. This thing I genuinely believe might be helping me shed pounds in uh, a faster A million way. percent. You should also do I, uh sauna. You I should the went heat on shock. scale the other day yeah. and shocked myself. I was like, shut the fuck up. How do I keep have losing you... weight? I'm like, I better go eat some. <laughs> You know, uh, you know, you might be interested to try. It's probably some, not something you would do regularly, but um, cryotherapy. What is this? So you go in, you stand in this pod, and it shoots it with very, very, very cold, uh, oh, cold, cold, uh, cold air, and you stand there for one to two minutes, and I'm talking like minus two hundred, and you're in your like skivvies. Shoot. Yeah, and you stand there, and uh, yeah, no, you get. Uh, so many good uh benefits from it uh cold shock proteins uh, uh increased uh blood flow capillaries yeah your uh, liver your releases, skin yeah it's so uh, much it's it's all good yeah a fat burning yeah bucket. a million percent it, it, so like i don't know bro it's been regardless of what's been going on yeah um i've been feeling good lately throw the fucking cold water on at the end of your shower yeah. shock your system do that fucking like do like, a sauna. I'm like, whoo, whoo, yeah, where you can't shit. breathe. Yeah, literally. Yeah, literally. way yeah. colder than you think. Way, yep. yeah. Ice Flip. baths. It's it's great for inflammation. Yeah, and honestly, that's the other thing too. Like I've, I mean, look at look at those. Are feeling better. Yeah. My back feels great. I mean, it's probably from losing weight too. Yeah. But after throwing, I don't feel the stress in my knees as hard. My back isn't fucking as strained out. Like, I mean, look I'm at those European good. countries, uh, the Finnish, uh, Sweden, you know, they have higher life expense. Uh, those with saunas or who have uh, sauna as part of their culture, um, like have magnitudes of order, more uh, longevity and less disease and, you know, uh, overall health benefits than people who do not, you know what I mean? Yeah. There's studies for that. And uh, so, yeah, you should uh, check all that stuff out. Super fire. Yeah, saunas. Let's go. Sweet. So, uh, let's see. We got some quick stuff that are that will move on right into the good stuff. So, Illinois officials highlight unprecedented growth of legal marijuana market as cannabis revenue outpaces alcohol. Uh, yeah. So, in the 2023, uh, we saw unprecedented growth says a new annual report from the State Department of Financial and Professional Regulation with the opening of 28 new retailers and more than $1.5 in total retail sales. Total tax revenue from the industry dropped in fiscal year 2023, however, falling to $420.9 million from a record $435.1 the previous year. Do you guys realize what he just said? That fuck all the other shit. He just said $1.5 billion in sales, okay? Yep. And then he said $420 million in yep. fucking tax revenue. Yeah, that that's is like, state tax revenue. That's just, I believe, just state tax revenue? Or is that total tax revenue, uh, including uh, all the municipalities dude, as well? If that's that's just what I'm wondering. State, I wonder, too, now that you say that, because if that's just state... You have to understand, but Department, I mean, the state yeah. takes the fucking most of the biggest, fattest chunk of yeah. big municipalities. Yeah, that's got to be state because like, that's IDFPR. So that's, they're not going to be reporting on uh, individual municipalities right, and what right. their ta tax stuff is. So that's All just the state for sure, listen, I think. Quick math, all right, yeah, and I'm pretty good at math. Um, you're like 30% uh, of the fucking yeah. 1.5 billion, 30% of it. There is nothing in the world that you should be buying that costs $1 and then you should be like, you know what? I'll give you a dollar and 30 cents yeah. or let's, let's scale that up. It's a hundred dollars. And then you go, I'm going to give you $130 actually. Yeah. I don't care about your hundred dollar price tag. I like you so much. Here's a buck 30. Yeah. And, and don't forget to, don't forget to tip us. Well, and, and please tip, tip your bud tender. Oh, I mean, and no, well, no, not, state. not just tip your bud tender, but you know, make sure to round up the change for whatever. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever thing they're saying that they're donating to. That's what Bingo. I'm saying. Yeah, if you want to tip your bud tender, uh, be cool with them. See them outside work. Give them money. For sure. Oh, also, no. probably you, you, you could tip them in the store. But yeah, it's, I'm not yeah, saying I think not a lot to of them it. do tip share shit. Yeah, nowadays, I believe so. If, if they're allowed to. A lot yeah. of them aren't allowed to also. But um, we were never allowed to take tips as a whatever back in the day. But um, 
moral of this whole thing is get your fucking medical card. Yep. Start growing your shit at home, at yep. least if you live in Illinois, because yep. that's what we are capable of doing. But throughout Barely. this whole entire fucking country, we have more opportunity to do medical and home grow than we do to get recreational adult use cannabis that is being taxed at an absurd fucking rate. Please, everybody, yeah, get your goddamn medical license. Anyway, that's my yeah little bit. So uh, let's see. Yeah. Uh, bu- 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 bu. fiscal t- year 2023 saw unprecedented growth in the cannabis, m- cannabis market not seen since the start of the medical program in 2015 and adult use cannabis was legalized in 2020 the new report says looking forward to the future fiscal year 2024 IDFPR anticipates continued growth of the regulated market well, so that's, yeah of you're course letting more people into but, so but over I'm... the entire fiscal year, 200 conditional licenses were issued. Bingo. In December exactly. 2022, the department also finalized rules for a new social equity criteria lottery aimed at prioritizing people who have been dis- disproportionately impacted by the war on drugs. More than 2,600 individuals applied for 55 new social equity dispensary licenses. Now, the vast of vast majority of newly issued licenses were in Cook County, obviously. 28 new retailers opened across the state during the fiscal year, which the agency says represents ownership groups that are not connected to the existing medical cannabis and same-site dispensaries. I bet not one of them was actually a medical dispensary. I don't think any of them are. I don't think we'll ever have any new ones ever again. I, I would. You would be shooting yourself in the foot yeah. to only be a medical dispensary as somebody who is a business yeah. owner, right? But for somebody like a me, like if I that's, wanted to go that's out, all I you would, would want. A medical yeah. 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 So all 28 of the newly opened retailers, the state says, were majority owned by veterans. Five of those were also majority owned by women and 15 are majority owned by people of color, according to voluntary self-reporting. Uh, with this new group of dispensaries, they say over 50% are majority owned by people of color and almost 20% are majority owned by women. Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. So for fiscal year 2024, it aims to issue 55 more social equity licenses and hire and onboard eight new inspectors and processors to decrease the time to license individuals and businesses. So it says, yeah. Dude, I want to go be an inspector. <sighs> yeah, then you got to work for the state, though. Bro, I, I'm not smoking weed. I could pass a drug test. Lol. <laughs> that's, that's great. Yeah. And I would, I would just carry gadgets around with me so I could be Inspector Gadget. <laughs> um, oh, so, boy. yeah, there's that. Speaking of, Illinois. So, that's that story. So basically, the 2023 reports out, uh, they're taxing more and more. They're getting more and more of your money. It's uh, more expensive for you to buy. And uh, the, you can't trust, always trust that the cannabis is good. Uh, that's, Got it. That actually. <laughs> actually. More times than not, you can go, that might not be the best thing I've ever had. So on to the next one though but it, it, it's it's part of this while adult illinois adult use cannabis market continues to set records the monthly cannabis sales totals for the medical cannabis patient program continues to decline so let's see uh the 2023 september 2023 medical cannabis sales totals of 26 million which was the lowest monthly total since march 2020 yeah yeah i, I mean I'm not. I'm not surprised by that. People are probably listening to the podcast now and just yeah, growing their own shit. Well, I mean, I f- I figure we have like you know the whole world listens. So like like eight million, eight billion, eight billion yeah. people, eight billion subscribers and listeners that we're talking to That's right now. At least, at dude. least. I mean, we got Canadian. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Sheesh. Um. No, I. I. I literally, it's just a. Uh, I. I imagine that there are people. Getting smart to the process and going, I can't fucking do it anymore. Yeah. I can't spend $60 a fucking eighth. 
you know, when I can grow a tree that fucking produces me a pound of fucking something. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of ridiculous. You know? Do you, boo boo, but um keep slaying. Um what do we got next? Uh I think the next one uh oh, I just screwed that up. Uh is the farm bill. So or not the farm bill, but the proposed hemp bill. Yeah. Now uh there's quite a bit to this, but I'm gonna let you start off with it. Cause uh, I've I've actually read parts of this and I don't think you have, so the summary yeah of this. this is the uh this is uh introduced on october 6th it's uh it's just been it's just been introduced so you can read it on like legiscan and this is house bill 4161 yeah it was uh it was filed on 10 6 a couple of days ago yes this amends the industrial hemp act and changes a short title to the uh of the act to the hemp act uh, permits the wholesale and retail sales of cannabinoids, hemp concentrate, or any other inter, uh, intermediate hemp cannabinoid products. Yep. Um, it provides that no person shall offer to sell cannabinoid products, particularly packaged hemp products, to consumers in the state unless the person applies for and holds a hemp retailer license issued by the Department of Financial and Professional Regulations. Um, before I go too far... That seems ridiculous because I have a lot of friends who are hemp retailers yes. and they do not um, have to have IDFPR fucking uh, license. Yeah. The, uh, so, um, spoiler, this is uh, set up very similarly to the uh, cannabis bill. So there's lots of regulation. There's lots of packaging. There's lots of inspections. There's lots of record keeping. There's lots of lots of ways for the state to make money and disincentivize people from actually uh, being able to use a plant and sell a plant. Correct. A natural plant. Correct. Yeah. That gets used for way more than consumption. Right. 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 And and uh, you know, anywho, I. This place drives me wild sometimes. It also provides that no person shall sell ready-to-eat hemp products to end consumers without applying for and holding a hemp food establishment uh, license issued by the Department of Public Health. So, again, they are just trying to get every department yep. that they possibly can involved. Like Aaron just said, it is to regulate the fuck out of it in a way that they continue to make more money. Mm -hmm. And then, like you said, it, it decentivizes people from using something that doesn't make as much money as some of the synthesized bullshit right. that comes out of a laboratory. I mean, you can, it's Craptober right now. So uh, the majority of, uh, of uh, growers, uh, this is when the outdoor harvest is. That includes all the MSOs and cannabis, uh, you know, dispensaries, stuff like that. And, uh, you know, the things that they do to it, remediate it. Uh, they even have these, like, this new, like, they're sprinkling, like, THCA all over it to, like, hide the, hide the crap quality of your bud. You know, it's, it's yep. you know, uh, quit smoking mids. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yep. Mids. All mids. Yep. I mean, but hey, if you don't want to pay a lot for your thing and you want the sale and you want to get it on sale. Yeah. Uh, the sale product. Actually, it's really funny that I keep saying that because plenty of sale products that I used to sell back in the day were sold as a sale product yeah. because they had a lower THC content, right. but were actually better products yeah. than the bullshit that was sitting a on the shelf for, at 35%. Or a million percent. They were lying about. Um, but yeah, this, this bill, it provides that no person shall sell cannabinoid products to any person under the age of 21. Unless the person is a medical card holder registered under the Compassionate Use of Medical Cannabis Program Act, it provides that the Department of Agriculture may not limit the number of hemp farm licenses. That's good. That's super. Good. That's good. That's the one good thing that we've read out of this. I mean, you know, some things are reasonable here, but getting all these licenses involved is a little fucked. Um, it also provides that no person shall cultivate or grow hemp for commercial purposes unless licensed by the Department of Agriculture. And subject to the rules of the department. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. 
Um, it provides that the hemp farms may not create hemp extracts without a processor license. That's kind of stupid. Yeah. Um, and it provides that hemp farmers may not engage in retail sales without a hemp retailer license. Okay. Provides that hemp uh, farms may not create hemp extractions without a processor license. They just said that. It provides that hemp farms may not engage in retail sales without a hemp. Oh, am I reading the same shit? Nope. Uh, it's uh, they First it was talking about hemp farms, and now we're talking about hemp farms. Retailers. Holy shit. <laughs> Y'all just said the same shit. I know. Uh, Creates in the state treasury a special fund known as the Hemp Social Equity Fund. Provides that 25% of all monies deposited into the Hemp Regulatory Fund shall be transferred into the Hemp Social Equity Fund. What the fuck is the Hemp Social Equity well, Fund? It's is like, that the people most well, no, affected it's like, by it's, the war on it's, hemp? No, it's like, um, well, yes, actually. Uh, the funny answer is it's like when you fund a war in Ukraine and then you spent, send money over there and then it goes to American businesses and, and corporations that are in the Ukraine fighting the war and not actually Ukraine. And then they send it back to the, to the government, um, people. It's kind of like that. Hmm. That's, that, that's, yeah. that's the kind of funny answer. Yeah. But the real no, answer is that yes. It actually does, and there's language in there about um, it going to the state police and it going to other. The fuck, uh, the police yeah. need it for? Well, like, uh, like if you get caught uh, growing marijuana and you have more than six plants, you're a class three felon, and you have to pay a fine. And portions, this bill lays out portions of that fine and where it goes within the state, a thousand percent. So, uh. Yeah, provides that beginning July 1st, 2024, taxes imposed upon purchases of all hemp cannabinoid products, hemp cannabinoid products for inhalation, hemp cannabinoid products for ingestion, and ready-to-eat hemp cannabinoid products at a rate of 5% of the purchase price of the cannabinoid product, defines terms, preempts home rule powers, amends the State Finance Act, Cannabis Regulation and Tax Act, Illinois Noxious Weed Law, the Cannabis Control Act, the Use Tax Act, the Service Use Tax Act, the Service Occupation Tax Act, and the Retailer's Occupation Tax Act to make conforming changes, effective immediately when signed. Jesus Christ. So essentially, um, as we have been talking about, it is a push to get more money yeah. for them. So I've, uh, I started reading some of this stuff, uh, Friday night when this came out and, uh, I mean, it's, you know, it's pretty bad. It's, uh, it changes, uh, so there's no, no such thing as industrial hemp anymore. So you can't get an industrial hemp farming license. It also changes, uh, from total THC, uh, not just 0.3% to 0.7 as it is now. Now it's, uh, THC, total THC. Doesn't matter if it's THCA, doesn't matter if it's Delta 8, doesn't matter if it's Delta 9, doesn't matter if it's a hermed out cannabis plant. Guess what? If it's got more than 0.7 THC, it's cannabis. It's not hemp. And I believe they test that at the seed, right? And that like what the seeds tested at okay. as, and then like after it's grown, then it's something else. That's how they get away with selling hemp seed as cannabis seed because hemp seed is has less total THC. Oh? Yeah. Uh, and then when you grow it, then that's something different. Wow. But that's going to change that too. So basically, Illinois being Illinois. Wow. And 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 they're talking about changing the farm bill too to to do all this federally. Um, Gee. you know, that's also Gee. coming up this year. Like I said, I I mean I've been trying to be optimistic about uh illinois but i'm not optimistic about illinois and and it being good for for any of us and that's no it's good that's, for fucking yeah it's the good for them at the top. yeah we're not going to have a dispensary we're not going to have a processor license the, you know we're not gonna we, we we have to do something different and that's support to yeah i, I <laughs> you know I've what i mean said i don't know that i want to i don't want to do this front line right bullshit anyway yeah. and it's like I would rather sit in the background and talk about why people should fucking grow their own shit, why they should avoid the bullshit. You know, I, I feel bad for people that are um, lost There's, in the smoke. And yeah. Me. 
Yeah. Because that is literally, this shit is, smoke and mirrors is essentially packaging and fake fucking numbers. Right? Yeah. Like, you're just, oh my God, like, you know, you've been told that you can legally, and I threw up air quotes when I said, yeah. that, consume something. Um, and it's, though, though it's decriminalized, better toe your fucking lines, man. Hey, a lot of people don't even, they don't realize don't even know. being in possession of, you know, you bought eight eighths last week and then you came this week and you bought another eight or whatever the fuck it is, but you had two or three left over from the last time. You are now illegal. Yeah, you got too much. Of, yeah. You got too much. So like a lot of us go, oh, what? Well, I can afford it. Well, I can do whatever. And it's like, dude. There's so many dumbass rules and regulations against it. I don't give a fuck if you have is any or all, right? Yeah. Like it's you just have fucking cannabis. And you can't like use more of it than what you're fucking right. using at one Why time. do you need that much? Like that well, but even even then, why the fuck does it matter how much you have either? Right. Go ahead. Do your thing, boo boo. Whatever makes you fucking happy or whatever makes you tick. Because if you're running around big amounts of marijuana, obviously you're you know, not paying your taxes on your marijuana. And that's the only that's reason. That's the only reason. You're going to get caught the fuck up. Because the fat cats have to get fatter. Mm -hmm. And our fat cat is the fattest. Right. Rich men down in Springfield. Yeah, rich men in Springfield. Hey, but uh, if you want to sue the Illinois government, you have to do it where the Illinois government says. So, oh, yeah. Yeah, you got to do it in uh, Springfield yeah, yep, or yep, Chicago. Yep, the only two places. Only two are, places. Which are the two most crooked motherfuckers. Well, yeah, because the they're both bought by the governor. Yeah. It's I mean, yeah, it's, it's obvious and whatever. Yeah. Uh, you know, um, in short, get the fuck out of Illinois. No, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I, was ta I was talking to my people the other day and they're like, do you have a short list of where you would want to go? And I'm like, you know, Chicago is so great for everything. It's literally like the, you know, the, the two things that, that, that kill me here is the, you know, the gun laws that I think is going to take another year or two before it even gets to the Supreme Court. Yep. And uh, the cannabis laws, it's pretty terrible. They both kind of suck. Yeah, they both kind of suck. Yeah. And, you know, um, there's other states where, you know, people, uh, women don't have choice about their own bodies. And uh, while that may not be... Uh, uh, choice that I would make, uh, it's still their choice and they should be able to do that yeah. too. So I totally get it. You know, it it's not, it. it's not as important, but I mean, it, it, uh, I'm saying that you can definitely, uh, you know, empathize with people who feel that way. Oh, with that brother, you know, I, I, I talk the fuck shit. Are we going to go? I talk shit about fucking them seatbelt laws all the time. It's like, <laughs> you know, better than I know for myself. Right. Like I'm not smart enough to fucking make my own decisions. Yeah. So you make the fucking decisions for me yeah. because you know better than me. And that yeah. is a fucked up way of looking at shit. So, no, I'm on board, dude. I, um, I hope all of you feel as though you are empowered and um, allowed to do the things that you would like to do. And yeah. If consuming cannabis is it, which I think it is if you've listened this far into this thing, um, you know. Just know your just know your uh your your local laws. Make sure that you're not breaking them and mm -hmm. um make sure you get your medical license and start growing because at that point a lot of the laws change. Yes, correct. You, be, you become far more protected in the cannabis world if you have a medical license. So um outside of that though. Um Yeah, that's it. I think uh yeah. welcome back, Dave. Thank you. I'm I'm happy to be back. I missed it. Yeah. I have been not doing the Monday part of my stream anymore, so it's just Thursday nights, and uh, I miss doing this thing, but I'm transitioning through some other things in my life, trying to, um, you know, just get, get, get where I need to be so I can help as many people as I can. Yep. More video stuff coming soon. Uh slash tm slash register trademark because i know we keep saying that <laughs> more video stuff coming soon but it should be coming soon then yeah legit so um hell yeah uh thank you for listening uh we love you all hopefully we see you sunday yeah at the homegrowns uh the chicago canico and bob's exotics glass shop grand opening and Ooh. outdoor farmers market last one of the year in uh 650 north peace road in DeKalb. Uh, it's going to be a great time. Uh, I'm going to be recording there. 
another round table. Uh, I got some interesting people to talk to. I can't wait. And, uh, you know, uh, Stoner Olympics sponsored by Love Green Culture. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, I got a little little sneak peek. It's good. That's awesome. It doesn't taste like suavital, but it's, it is floral because, you know, a lot of his stuff is very florally. Yeah, yeah it's good. That's so cool. Knock your socks off. That's super. I'd probably knock my socks oh, dude. right off right now. Yeah. <laughs> she. She. Yeah, so shout out to Chicago Canico and, and Bob's Exotics. We'll see you out there. We love you. Smoke weed every day. All right. Peace. Later. Yo, ding dong, we're done here, time to go.